Hey guys, welcome to another video from the PC Broker. I'm Jason. In today's video, I wanted to show you how it's possible to install Windows 11 on an older system that only supports legacy boot. Now, I didn't even know this was possible uh, until I had a customer that came the other day with an old Toshiba laptop and the only boot method that it could do was legacy. And um, I did a little bit of research and apparently it's a lot easier than than uh, than, than I thought. Uh, so, so basically you need to download um, two, two things and you need a USB drive. Uh, I'd probably recommend like a 16 gigabyte USB drive. Uh, the first thing you need to download is the full ISO image of Windows 11, which you can get here. And once you download it, um, it's, it's a large file. It's about seven, almost eight gigabytes in size. So you download that file and you also have to download um, the uh, Rufus uh, utility. Um, so once you have that, those two items, uh, you just open up the Rufus utility and uh, I have it here. Um, so you select your USB drive make sure there's nothing on there because it will delete everything and then you select your your Windows 11 ISO file and you just change the partition scheme to MBR that's out that's the only thing you need to do uh, I changed the label name so it shows up as Windows 11 instead of the, the weird name that it has and there's one other thing you need to do once you click on start so once you click on start, another window is going to pop up and you want to check remove required requirement for 4 gigabytes of RAM, secure boot, TPM, remove the requirement for the online Microsoft account. And I recommend the other two there, disable data collection and disable BitLocker automatic device encryption. And uh, once you hit OK, it's going to format the drive and put Windows 11 on there. So that's it. That's how to make a Windows 11 USB installer for a legacy system. If that's all you needed, that's the end of this video. The second part of this video, I'm going to explain how to do the install process, which is relatively easy if you've already done it. There's really no difference, uh, but I'm going to show you so because some people have basic questions and stuff, and I can go over that during the install portion of this video. So here we are, uh, I'm, I have a test system with a legacy set in the BIOS, which I'm going to show you. You plug your USB drive into your system, and if it doesn't boot into the Windows 11 installer right away, what you might need to do is go to the boot menu on your PC. Now this might be a different key depending on your manufacturer. With Dell, it's F12 to get to the boot menu to select the USB drive to boot from. Uh, so you might need to play around with that or do some Googling to find out how to get it to boot off the USB drive. Also, you're going to need to wipe the drive um, and you, you want to make sure that you boot off of the USB before it goes to the hard drive if you already have an operating system on the hard drive. So. I'm showing you here, uh, I go into the BIOS and I'm making sure that the boot is set to legacy and I turned off the UEFI boot. And on mine I didn't even need to go to the boot menu because it, it automatically booted off of the USB drive. So you'll see here it, it already started booting. Now I'm at the main screen and uh, you just do a standard install, you select, uh, I didn't have a product key so I just said I don't have a product key. Um, so you might need to enter in your key from, uh, it won't take a Windows 7 key, uh, When you Windows 10 used to take a uh, Windows uh, 7 key but Windows 11 won't. Uh, so what you could do is you could 
say I don't have a key and the activation will not happen until you're uh, you might need to buy a key online or if you have a system that had a Windows 10 key sticker you can probably use that Windows 10 key um, Now it's searching for disks. Now I'm selecting the disk I already have. I already wiped out all the partitions. If you see your disk and there's a bunch of partitions, you'll need to delete all of them until it says, you know, it's a single disk and it says unallocated space. Uh, and the other disk here is the USB drive. So uh, this is what you should see before you install everything. It should say the name of your disk and just unallocated space. That's it. Nothing else. And then that's it. You just hit install. And this will take a little bit because it's got to move everything from the USB drive to uh, your hard drive. I'm just fast forwarding here. So it boots. And this is booting legacy uh, right into Windows uh, 11. And here we are in the Windows 11 start screen on a legacy system. And you just select the things you normally select. I always like to create a local account, so click I don't have internet, and then put in the username that you want. And that's it, it's going to go to the desktop. You'll obviously need to connect it to the internet uh, afterwards, and so here we are at the desktop, and I'm just going to the about PC so you can see. We've got a legacy system on Windows 11, 25H2 build. And now I'm going to the disk manager so I could show you that we are, on fact, on a, a MBR system. So I'm selecting the disk. There you see a master boot record. So it's we've got Windows 11 running on a master boot record partition drive. So uh, the only thing you might need to do after that is make sure all your drivers are installed so that everything's working properly and then you should be good to go. And also like I said you might need to uh, purchase a new Windows 11 key, which you'd be able to get online uh, for usually about $20 or so. Um, and, uh, and then you should have a fully activated system. And uh, so, guys, if you like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you want to see some more videos on Windows 11 or other kind of helpful things. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.